Yo, yo, people, welcome back, welcome back. I'm gonna do a very quick, a very simple one today. And all I'm gonna show you how to do is how to stop or shut down a VM and how to terminate it completely. So before you actually need to get to that stage, you have to be logged in. So I'm gonna log into a VM that I have running. This one, I should know the password. Yep, logged in, okay. So the very first thing you normally want to do is to shut down the actual operating system first. You don't wanna simply shut down from your data center. However, if something does happen and it's not responding, you can simply shut down from here. I would never recommend that in a production environment you need to find a way to save your files first because in some cases you might lose everything so the first thing you want to do is to go to whatever menu you need to get to to actually shut down in some cases for things like mint you normally have to go to like your start menu then go to users then shut down but from debian 12 i simply need to go to the top right hand corner where the power button is click on the power button then i need to click on the power button again then i go to where it says power off that's gonna shut my computer down not my data center just this virtual machine and if you keep looking on the left hand side here that green play button is going to go from green to gray like everything else perfect now that's shut down i'm going to run that one more time and i'm going to show you guys how to shut it down if it's not responding you can just right click on it and shut it down as well so that's running again that's loading up i'm going to load that first one into my username password login and then from here let's say for some weird reason this just isn't working i can't click on anything to shut it down what you can do is right click on here so if you pause it what will happen it will just pause the operating system nothing will happen you won't be able to use it if you hibernate it that's slightly different from pausing pausing means that it's still running it's just not doing anything at the moment hibernating means that it kind of saves the current state so if you were to i guess wake the system up it would continue exactly from where it left off shutdown is a typical shut the system down so shut the operating system down we have stop and we have reboot stop is just going to stop the operation reboot is going to restart the operating system or restart the virtual machine what i want to do is a force shutdown so proxmox is going to force the operating system to shut down i'm going to click on shutdown it's going to ask me to shut down i'm going to click yes and then just wait for it and that's it it's done and again that green play button is going to go to gray i'm going to do that one more time username there i'm going to enter my password quickly and from here everything's running fine i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to go to where it says stop i'm going to choose to stop my vm and it should again that green play button should just go to gray again all right so now that we know how to stop a virtual machine what if you actually wanted to delete one of these on the left hand side so i have 100 debian test 101 debian terminal 102 debian 2 cpu and 4 gigabytes so i'm guessing that's two cpu cores i had and four ram and four gigabytes of ram 103 was just going to be the lamp stack but i canceled that video so let's say i wanted to get rid of this one 103 again all i would have to do is to click on it to highlight it and to get to this section again you have data center at the very top which lists all your details of your current data center i'm going to click on my data center which is called pve you can have multiple under here and click on pve and then on the arrow to the left of pve let me zoom in again the arrow left of pve there i'm going to click on that and it's going to give me all the virtual machines i have on this so to delete this one i'm going to click on it on the left hand side here where it says 103 lamp i'm going to click on that then i'm going to go to more in the top right hand corner click on more and there's an option here that says remove i'm going to click on remove it's going to ask me if i'm sure approach job configurations destroy unforeseen just do everything and it's asking to please enter the id to confirm so my id for this one was one zero three and once i do that i'm going to click on remove and that virtual machine should disappear there we go it's completely gone so that's how you stop a virtual machine shut it down pause it hibernate it and also delete it thanks for watching stay tuned